Hey, I'm Jacob with the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I'm getting ready to go on a New Year's bug out trip with James Yeager of Tactical Response. So I decided that there would be no better time to show you what my bug out bag looks like as of 2016. Stick around and let's get this thing unloaded. In my opinion, one of the most important items that you have is your backpack. Too many people skimp out on backpacks, and I saw so many backpacks fail in Afghanistan from brands that people normally trust. I trust a few brands, and one of them's the Hidden Woodsman. Shout out to my buddy at Gideon's Tactical there. I'm not taking the 8 foot by 8 foot tarp out because it's a pain in the butt. It's really in there, but a tarp is a very utilitarian uh, tool. Although I do want to upgrade because your normal cheap tarps, I hate them. So it's time for me to uh, get into some wilderness innovations there. I uh, love that brand. All right, so coming along, you'll notice here that I have a lot of snivel gear. Um, it is winter, and this is supposed to be light, but I think that everything here is vital. Uh, pot, regardless of weather, is vital uh, for water, for food, for just about anything. If you're going to be out for more than 24 hours, I think having a pot is necessary. A sleeping mat can make all the difference. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, so I won't say too much about it yet. Gloves. I hate wearing gloves, but when you need them, you need them. Uh, medium-sized knife. I actually don't have a medium-sized knife that I'm really excited about. I'm actually borrowing this one, uh, thanks to my buddy Randy Sharp. So, uh... If you're out there and you make a knife that you would like to be seen on this channel often, hit me up. Wool socks are a must. Daytrex rations for if the short bug out trip turns into a longer bug out trip. Protein bars, wire purification, small sleeping bag, poncho, snivel gear, wool snivel gear, uh, leash for the adventure dog, Jimbo! He'll come over here in a moment because he's coming. Um, and then, there we go. Come here, bud. This is Adventure Dog. Say hi. Ho oh. ho. Uh, here we have, in a second, Ruger Mark IV. Not exactly the best option for a bug out firearm, but if I can see it, and it's in within shooting distance, I can hit it with this thing. It's stainless, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Got an extra mag and extra ammo in here. And I also have... I must have pulled them out. I don't know where I put them. Uh, two extra 1911 magazines in here somewhere. Uh, even though if I go through four magazines in the 1911, I'll probably already be dead. Uh, if I need them, I'd rather have them. Oh, and of course gotta have a hydration bladder i mean it's a must oh there's some of my 22 ammo anyways i'll be talking about all of this more in depth uh later in the video i'll talk probably more about each individual item right now i gotta get all packed up and get the heck out of dodge um so i'll see you later on the trail we're almost there jimbo and i hey bud a deer on the way here. What I love about being in the country is that we hit this deer sadly in my wife's Jeep. Sorry babe. And uh, I walk over to it and it, obviously it's in pain. I have to shoot it in the head. But I'm literally right next to somebody's house out here in the country. So uh, I'm calling my buddy who's nearby so he can come get the meat. And the lady walks out with her dog and she's just like, Would you like some help, sir? You know, it's just, it sure is nice being out in the country and, I don't know, I always seem to, I'm uncomfortable out in the city. I feel like I can't do anything I need to do. Alright guys, so we're out here on the trail. I'm here with uh, Mike McGowan. Hello. If, uh... You're watching this channel, you're probably on Facebook on 
the Prepper's Bunker or on Click. The Click. The Click or on uh, Meeting of the Prepared Minds. And you've probably seen Mike. But uh, Mike, I just wanted to see, you know, we're pretty much starting this march here. Is there anything Are you that. to be in the video? Oh, no, no, I was thinking about here. <laughs> so, you know, in the, from the get go, is there anything that you're considering you might want to change, or are you pretty happy with your setup right now? Uh, I'm happy with my setup, because like I said, this is, this is strictly just my bug out stuff here. My, my regular backpacking bag is back in the van. Yeah. Uh, a lot heavier, and it, it's not something I would carry on a long trip. It would just be mainly camp out of the vehicle kind of backpack. This would make more sense. You see these guys that do videos on the AC and they tell you lighter better. Right. My only change today would be probably the fact that I didn't I didn't dress as well as I did. I didn't and we were all expecting rain. Right. So I overdressed with the rain, got way too hot and had to chip a bunch of stuff off to begin with. Yep. Well Whatever that's the importance that, of layers though. Exactly. That's that's the whole idea. Take off what you don't need. Uh but on that, it's worked out well. Good. Uh, we're doing a good, a good pace, and uh, it's beautiful out here. I love it out here. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do, like I did with Mike, is I'm going to talk to a couple of people, ask them about their kits, and then when we get done hiking, uh, I'll see if anybody changes their mind or makes the decision that they want to change anything up. So stick around. So uh, I'm hiking with Steve here. I met Steve a long time ago in the uh, active shooter class, and uh, he's a he's a super alumni at this point, just about. Steve, uh, so far in this hike, is there anything that you think you would like to change about your packer loadout? I think I always overcomplicate and overpack. Yeah. Three different ways to start a fire, three different types of shelter, twice as much food as I need. Yeah. So, in hindsight, I would probably lighten the load a little bit. I got you. Yeah, I guess you're like me, packed heavy, huh? Yep. Cool deal. Well, other than that, are you happy with all your gear? Yeah, everything's worked fine. Layer up, warm up, take the layers off, stop and rest, layer up. Get hot. I think working great. Great. Well, I'll talk to you at the end of the hike. See if there's anything you can think of that you'd like to change. Will do. All right. This is Zach. He's not alumni yet, but uh, he will be. Now, Zach, uh, so far in this hike. Is there anything that you would change about your kit? Um, or any of your gear at all? No. No? No. Nope. Pretty happy with your setup? Pretty happy with my setup. Good. Anything that you're really impressed with? Uh, huh. You guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all right. You guys haven't sucked yet. Um, there you go. That's actually my personal bar. I just try to achieve not sucking, and then anything beyond that's just frivolous. You're, you're phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't complain with that. You have sucked the least. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm with James Yeager here, and uh, James has already tested out his kit a few times. I don't think that he's going to be happy or unhappy with anything, but what's interesting to me, uh, he's rocking a mani pack here, and his concept behind it actually I think is stellar, although I'd never considered a uh, Manny Pack in the past. Dan, can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, first off, it's a heavy duty, made for carrying a gun. It's made by Blackhawk. But the thing was, I carry my gun on my waist at the four o'clock position, and you can't properly use a waist belt on a pack with the gun on your hip. And so if I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna carry a pack, I'm gonna carry it correctly and trying to make distance. So I, I just had this idea. I'll put it in, you know, a fanny pack. So I got this one, and what I thought was, um, I got extra room in here, so if I ever, like, drop my pack and something happens, and I have to abscond, I keep, you know, like, a, a spare batteries and a survival tin and water purification tablets and stuff like that in the mani pack, 
uh, and another knife and a flashlight and shit like that. But so, so if I, and I'm never without it, even like when I'm out here and I, I sleep, I sleep with this thing around my waist in case I have to get up and move. I, I have stuff with me, on me, where I know I can reach it. And, and I've done, I did, uh, the longest hike I've ever done with it is uh, 19 miles and it never was a problem. Uh, going up a hill or something, if I'm been over real far, sometimes I'll just lift up on it so it doesn't smack, smack my nuts. But other than that, it works it works fine. And it is easy and fast to get to, and it doesn't alarm other hikers. Uh, the other thing I like, well, having a bunch of gear on you at all times is unquestionably a good thing. But I, I figure you can probably move at a, a higher rate of speed with that if you really have to get the hell out of Dodge as well. It doesn't inhibit your, right. your yeah. movement or anything. So it's really a absolute last ditch piece there that you always have. I really like that. It works. It, uh, I, you know, there might be a better solution, but this is a pretty good one. Yeah, I like it. I didn't think I'd ever <laughs> like a many pack, but it actually, it makes a lot of sense. Pretty dang cool. All right, I'm here with Chris and Taylor. How's it going, guys? Hey. Chris is alumni. Uh, he brought Taylor along here. Yep, first time. First time with around the tactical response uh, gang. Exactly. So uh, at the beginning of this little ruck here, uh, is there anything that you were unhappy with? And now that we're near the end of the ruck, has that changed at all? Is there anything that you wish you would have switched or done differently? You know, I think I thought out pretty well. I have a lot of experience backpacking, hiking, that sort of thing. Uh, the, I'm a little new to the bug out prepper type stuff, so that's a little bit different, but it's very much in the same vein. I really uh, am kind of happy with what I packed. If I could change anything, I would probably uh, pack a little bit more water, just because, you know, that's always uh, maybe hard to get a handle on. Uh, but anything else, I think my pack is pretty good. How about you? Is there anything you think you would change? Um, well, he packed for me. <laughs> so um, I think he did a really good job. Yeah. I actually brought extra, like a couple extra things, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would say maybe bring like two things of your own stuff you know you know just little like luxury items you know things that, that like, will make it boost. easier you yeah, know exactly. definitely whenever i'm doing like survival trips and stuff like they were talking about earlier i always will have a couple jolly ranchers yeah. if you haven't eaten all day mm -hmm. if you can have that little jolly rancher before you go to bed it can make a really big difference yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but cool thanks guys yeah, yeah of course all right guys so i'm on my way home from uh Considering 
the fact that they're so much smaller and lighter. So I'm really looking forward to that. I have to get on that. I'm just uh, very happy that I ended 2016 uh, doing something useful. Hang out with James Yeager and the crew. Met a lot of great guys. Got to see a lot of great alumni again. So I've got to grow. I'll be doing some uh, in case I never come home back videos for long term survival pretty soon here. And I'll do some getting home bag videos as well. Today, uh, for this trip, I did a bug out bag, and it was and it came. It was a get home bag for the winter. But uh, I'll probably do a video on something smaller and lighter. As it stands, that hidden woodsman truck is phenomenal. I carried more weight than almost anybody else, and just had no issues. Not because I'm a stud. I think because that rock is just an absolute great product. Make sure to check out the Hidden Woodsman. Uh, that particular backpack model is the classic rock, and it is just my favorite pack. Anyways, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, where I can improve. Uh, my favorite thing about this channel is discussing things in the comments with you guys. I hope you had a great 2016. I hope that you have a great new year coming into 2017. Start challenging yourselves. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.